So like, watch this. Mango's actionable here. That's why Armada does this, because every person on the planet upbees preemptively here. All right, chat. Are we going to go over my best, set, my favorite sets of all time? Let's see what people suggested first. I'm curious. So there's some at 11 grands, right? The Genesis 1 grands. I don't know if I can rate Genesis 1 grands because like, I didn't watch it in the moment, right? So that's going to be hard for me. I have to figure out how I personally am going to like filter through that. Because like, I didn't watch Genesis 1 grands. So it was hype. But I, I feel like I'm not going to be able to rank it as genuinely as other sets that I I watched like I was able to like experience, right? So I might do two lists, one of sets that I've watched and then another a list of sets that I would put in there, but I didn't watch like live or like understand. So I'll do one list from Apex 2015 on. Apex 2015 was the first event that I watched. And then I'll do another list of including uh, sets from tournaments that I didn't watch live. So what was my favorite tournament that set that I ever watched live? So let me get a pool of tournaments first. All right, chat. Am I missing any obvious sets from Apex 2015 onwards? Keep in mind, this is my personal list. So here's 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 actually a, here's gonna be a distinction. This is gonna be the best sets I've watched, and these are gonna be my favorite sets I've watched. That's actually gonna be a distinction for me because I think those are two very different things. Do you know what I mean? Best sets. I think it's just best spectator experience. Okay, so I think the best set that I've watched was just Mango Zane Summit 11. I I don't think there's another set that takes it over. Just the fact that it was like after quarantine, like it was right after quarantine. We hadn't played for a year and a half. It was the biggest prize pool of all time. It was 10 games. Like I, I don't think there's a better set than that. Personally, I don't think there's a better set than that. There was so much on the line that to me, that was just like fucking ridiculous. That shit was absolutely crazy. I think there was so much like history leading up to the set. And it was like Zayn was dominant during quarantine. And it was like Mango was like right behind him the entire time. We hadn't played Melee out land for a year and a half. No, I think this like takes the cake. I don't think there's a better set than that, in my opinion. I don't think there is. Back to back on FD. Say what you want about how Zayn played. That set was crazy. Like as a spectator, that set was wild. That was like one of the craziest things I've ever watched. I think in terms of best sets, no, no, nothing beats that. Not for me. I'd say the next best for me. Honestly, I think Armada HBox Evo 2016 was just fucking crazy. That tournament was that was fucking crazy. I think that's definitely next for me. I think that that one's definitely next for me. That one was fucking wild. That was like Clutch God coming into existence. That was like the first like that was like kind of hit the signal of him like becoming like a top top player. And that was a crazy fucking grand finals. Uh, that was actually wild. I think the next set. In terms of the best sets that I've watched, probably Mango Armada from Royal Flush. Because our Mango was struggling so much before that, and Armada seemed like untouchable. That was like the first tournament Armada had lost in like half a year. I would say that that was probably the next best one. I think the next best set for me as a spectator was almost certainly Armada M2K at SmashCon. Some people think that set was overrated. I don't think so. I think that set was fucking crazy. It was a game 10 fucking banger. It was Armada's last ever set. I think that Armada Mutant King of Smash Ground is a fucking amazing set. Overrated as fuck. No, I think it's an amazing set. Mango, you're here and you're here. Don't fucking complain. <laughs> Don't fucking complain, dude. You know how many spots you got on this list? I think that set was fucking amazing. That was hype as hell to watch. What, do you want this spot too? You want Mango Zane Big House? Mango Left in Genesis 4? Mango Zane Big House 9? Mango something something? Mango Typers? Plubs Luigi's Drunk Fox is so funny. There are definitely other sets that probably deserve to be here. But it's hard for me to say like they're the best sets of all time. Because for me, like in order for a set to be like the best of all time, you have to have like a lot of story behind it. And no offense, but if you're like a ranked like 30 or 20 player, there's not going to be that much story behind it. It's just going to be like fun spectator experience. I think for spectator stuff, I can absolutely put a bunch of them in like spectator sets or like favorite sets. But for best sets, I think like there has to be story. I'm trying to think which one I would put next, though. Probably Plup HBox Genesis 5, especially because Plup got washed the first set. I remember Plup getting absolutely fucking washed the first set, only to barely win the second set. And it was during, like, the period of where HBox just wasn't losing, and it was crazy. Summit 11 over HBox is... Yeah, absolutely Summit 11 over HBox is... Bro, Summit 11, we hadn't played land melee in a year and a half. There was no land melee in a year and a half. It was a literal fight for number one. In every sense of the word. 
It was the highest prize pool of all time. It was a reverse 3 0 and a, on FD in Fox Marth. Absolutely. I don't think you can get a better set than this right now. That set was fucking wild to watch. And as someone who knew the second the set was over, Mango won, I was going to get the brunt of the bullshit. I still was like, this was fucking crazy. Mango, I took the brunt of that bullshit. Me and, me and Luffy got fucked for that. And it was still hype. I'd probably put Hbox Zane next because it was Hbox. It was like, so here's the thing. I don't know which of these two I'd put next. I'd put one of them next. The reason being, it was like another like new era. This was another fight. I'd probably put Hbox Zane first because it was H. It was like Zane's like come up and like he finally won a big big one. I'd have Mango Zane Big House Nine right afterwards. Big House Nine was just an amazing set. I don't think there's anything particularly amazing about it. Although, I do think there's something to be said about PP and Armada from Apex being really good. Dude, all these sets are fucking good. Okay, so I'm going to start eliminating some sets from, like, my potential, like, super favorites. Uh, this is not going to be up there because there was no story behind it. Mega Left and Genesis 4 was too good not to be there. I think, like, Armada Hbox goes in favorite sets, not best sets, but I'm not sure. It definitely, well, no, it was an amazing set. It was an amazing set. Armada Hbox was really fucking good. That was a crazy tournament. Because when people beat Armada, it was amazing. Like, you have to understand, every time someone beat Adam, it was like a fucking event. There was like a two-year period where every time he lost, it was like, oh my god, he lost. As a pleb. As a pleb when I was coming up. Because I know Mango's going to be like, bah, 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 bah. okay, whatever. As someone who was a casual coming up every time and who was in Twitch chat for every event, because I wasn't fucking playing in them. Every single time he lost, it was just an event. And Mango Armada sets were like... Honestly, I still like fucking Mango Armada almost more than Mango Zane in some ways. Those sets were just ridiculous. But Mango Zane, no, Mango Zane's also really good. I don't know. They're good for different reasons. I just have nostalgia for Mango Armada. Those are my favorite sets of all time. This is going to go on a favorite set list for me. The reason this is one of my favorite sets is because my first grand finals of all time. This set got me into Melee. This set literally got me into Melee. So this is going to go on favorite sets. That's why I have it here. Yeah, the problem is Mango, there was a period of time where like... Some of their sets were just Mango being stupid and running into Down Smash a million times. I, I know Mango knows that too. Which kind of fucks over some of the sets. I think Mango left in a Genesis 4 was fucking amazing, by the way. Mango are not overrated. I don't think so. I think when you two had good sets, you two had fucking the craziest sets I've watched as a spectator. I think your peaks for Mango Armada were just ridiculous. There was It was so tense every time. No, I don't think so, dude. I, I think that's like... From a spectator standpoint, I don't think so. Or was after 10 bad sets? That's why I that's why I emphasized your good sets, you had the best peaks. That's why I said the other problem is you just ran into down smash for like five sets in a row. And I was like, okay, well that, that sucked. But I think overall, when you two had peaks, you two had like the best sets of all time. I will say it's also because I think both of you were like. Neither of you really choked that much. Like neither of you were really chokers. And I think that made it like that much more interesting. When you played well. There was a lot of, like, no, like, no slop at the end. And that made it, like, really fun to watch. Especially compared to, like, a lot of other sets. Neither of you two were, like, big chokers. And that made it, like, really interesting to watch. It didn't Armada choke Royal Flush? I mean, he overextended on a forward air, sure. But, like, I don't even... That's, like... If that's the choke we're talking about... Okay. I'm not gonna throw shade at anyone. If that's the choke we're talking about, then none of the sets nowadays are good at all. Because they're immediate... They're... 80 trillion times worse. Mango picked a crazy angle. Like, this wasn't that much of a choke, bro. Mango picked an insane angle. Like, I would be fucking jerking myself off about this angle. Look at this shit. This is just a fucking oh. crazy angle. Wait, but oh, that could be it. Like, you guys realized what makes this isn't the fact, isn't the angle he picked. It's. Watch what happens when he's actually... So let me show you something real fast so that you guys understand why this is actually so good. Because I think you guys are just obsessed like with an angle or two and like a choke. So like watch this. Mango's actionable here. That's why Armada does this because every person on the planet upbees preemptively here. Even on his last stock, he had the wherewithal to drop down from that forward air instead of immediately upbeing. And that's why it didn't work. And he dropped down far enough so that the drop zone fair also didn't hit him. And he fast fold out of it. Yes, this was crazy awareness. This was an amazing angle. It's not even angle, just the recovery. It wasn't even the angle that was good. It was just like the wherewithal on where to do the up B was fucking perfect. We got greedy. We got greedy.
Like, that's what happened there. That wasn't like an Armada choke. I think Mango just outplayed him. No, I think Mango just outplayed him. I think that's a perfectly reasonable assumption to make. I don't even think he got greedy. The commentators didn't even realize. I think that's a perfectly reasonable assumption to make in Armada's shoes. And Mango just outplayed him. I don't even think that was a choke. I think that was just amazing for Mango. Like, dude, I don't see that in sets anymore. I don't see that level of play on, like, last stock. Like, relative to the field. I don't see that anymore. Like, you two had the best sets when you were playing well. I really feel that way. There was no choking ever. For the rest of these, I really like this run. It was a culmination of, like, a long-ass tournament. I know Mango lost, but I think the run was really interesting. I'd put this one here next because of the reverse three because of the uh you reverse three him in, in first set of grands right or did you reverse him in winners i remember it was a game 15. you reverse three him in one set and then it was a game 10. i don't remember when it was when the reverse three was and then i'd put this one last but it deserves to be on the list for sure i didn't watch melee and big house four 